Today, we're going to look at how Fusion Reactor can be used as a regular debugger. We're going to set a trace point to fire when a specific variable condition has been met. Then we're going to modify that variable during execution so that our application runs correctly. In this example, we've got the months of the year written to an array variable. The month of March is missing the H at the end, and we want to correct this. Let's run this page and see what happens. Now let's set a trace point so we can fix the problem. First, we need to navigate to the correct page. We've already set the source directory using the configure sources key. Let's navigate to the file that we want to debug. I'm going to set a trace point on line 3. To do this, I just click on the line, and we can see that a trace point is instantly set. Now we want to add the condition so that the trace point will only fire when the array variable is equal to mark rather than march. We do this by editing the trace point and setting the trigger on condition. Let's confirm that. Now let's run PD loop again. We can see that the tab is spinning. And if we go back into Fusion Reactor, we can see that the trace point has fired on the thread that is shown here below. If we click on the debug icon, we're taken to the IDE style debugger window. And we can see that program execution stops at line 3 where we set the trace point. I also added a watch variable in the debugger, and we can see that a array i is displaying mark. Let's add a watch for variable i to see what the value of that is. We can see that there's three, which is what we'd expect because March is the third month of the year. Now let's set the variable to be spelled correctly. To do this, we need to use cf set. Here, I see the variable field and the expression field. The variable denotes the variable I wish to update, and expression is the actual value. Here, the variable will set to be a array i, and the expression will be set to march, and we'll set this in uppercase so that it really stands out. Let's see that. Now, let's resume execution and take a look at the results. March is now spelled correctly.